Hey everyone, today we get to play on Sky Temple. Looks like our team gets first pick, first ban. And... Arcanine, Dooku, Flak, Dot, War, Wrathbringer versus Rust Skull, Rubber Ducky, Epic Ant, Starcraft Sun 14 in Rudry. Looks like we're immediately banning out the Lost Vikings. Cancel here. Um, that's fine. It's a sk Sky Temple, large map, multiple lanes. Um, I wonder what we want to pick up here. Uh, we are, we did have some success with, ooh, nice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We did have some success with Rainer, um, but it was pretty bad. Get some success with Junkrat. Once again, pretty bad though. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't being carried by my team. Uh, Zeratul, immediate first pick, which is fair. Get to late game and we're golden. Um, I can either do yeah or yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Looks like I'm doing yeah. Uh, so Zagar did just get some buffs to her Banelings. Uh, the reason why I say that is because at level 7, they now do two more Banelings and do 20% more damage. So if I go with Zagara, it might actually be good to go with Volatile Acid into, depending on who I'm going against. Um, probably in Venom Spines, if I'm assuming I'm going against Fallside. Then we go to Banely Massacre, uh, Nidus Network, uh, Protective Coating, or Hydralis Transfusion. Either or. Um, Utilisk. And then finally, level 20. I always like going Furious Storm, but Endless Creep also works too. Um... Epic Pants went with Nubrak, and they're getting rid of Johanna. Um, can only assume that they're going to be going into more auto attackers instead of just the Falstad. Uh, we're banning out Decker, Kane, and Anna. So limiting their healing pool. Uh, Taronda is still very good, especially with the Nubrak follow-up. Um... So that's what I'd be expecting out from them. Brightwing is always a thing. Like the amount of uh, burst damage, though, that we have potential with Zero Tool. Okay. So Dahaka. Ah, uh, Alex draws a very nice. So it looks like I'll be going against Dahaka. Uh, Dahaka uh, with his W can get rid of my uh, creep very easily. On top of that, they have now two, uh, well, Dox is global, False says is pseudo global. Um, on smaller maps, he is a global. On like a large map like this, he is not quite global, but he's almost there. Vala is an interesting choice. Especially with the amount of CC that they have. Yeah. Uh, where is this Vala at? There it is. A 38.5% win rate with Vala. Alright. Doesn't mean anything. This is, all, once again, only his Hero League Team League. Alright, so. It's Kel'Thuzad. Zeratul into a Kel'Thuzad. I'm expecting a lot from this Zero Tool. I know that's going to be a little selfish of me to expect a lot, but I am. I'm not sure why, but immediately when I saw Gold 2, it was like, ugh, I'm getting outranked here. But, oh, I'm Gold 2. Ugh. Getting outranked. Either way, I should be Gold 4. I play as if I'm Gold 4. But somehow, I'm in Gold 2. Alright. What we're going to do is 
since we have the bangling do 20% more damage at level 7 we can afk push and get a lot of damage out onto the structures which puts us ahead on the temples if we are left unchecked uh dahaka and falstad can both rotate towards me or um away from me very quickly so Late game zero tool will do wonders, especially against the Falstad and Kel'Thuzad. These are the two I really want him to be able to kill. Um, Vala will be able to do lots of damage to the Anubrak and Dahaka as long as she avoids the Anubrak burrow. Uh, if she can avoid the CC from Anubrak and the Kel'Thuzad, should be fine. Uh, Garrosh might be able to throw her away if need be. We'll see how well I do though. I don't expect myself to do too well here. I do expect to die a couple times because I will over push. Uh, that's not something I'm planning on doing. That's just something I will do and I can't really avoid it. Okay. Let us show these fools the fury of the swarm. Cycles remaining ten, five, four, three, two, one. Let battle begin. All right. Start off with putting creep right here. Another. These are very defensive creeps. Agreed. Looks like they. Enemy team did manage to. Okay. I think I saw someone down there at the bottom. see two on the map right now so let's back away oh got stunned and dodged out the second stun Missing out on some of the glows, which is very required. Uh, we kind of haven't addressed this yet, but we've actually gotten a couple kills from the friendly team. Oh, misclicked that one. So I'm surprised that I'm going against the, the new rack here. Another kill. Uh, we're gonna go Saray's Spines and just start stacking. There we go, got two of those gloves there. I see one down in the bottom lane, so let's back away. Um. Okay, should probably dodge that. Uh, let's back up, grab ourselves some mana. And... Let's clear this out. Okay. Okay. 
We were able to dodge out. Now we're going to go Banely Masker. Okay. Um. Oh, dang. Uh, not sure why we all came here. And we left the middle lane alone. Dang. Uh, let's go ahead. Hmm. My temple. Go to the middle lane. Has been next let's see what everyone's talents are. You are Not quite going for a Q build. A little disappointed. There we go. Quickly clean that up. Rotate once again. You can kill him. He's just He's just a little false dad. Um There we go. Clean out that. Let's go ahead and rotate down. Because Vala is leaving. Go. I'm trying to put down a creep. There we go. Uh, I'll go all the way up to the top. Have a nice network here. Throw that right there. And we're going to throw it right there. The reason why I put it in the bottom lane and top lane is simply because we know that where the next temple is going to be, which is bottom lane. And if I can uh, rotate down. Uh, and match their global, which is Dahaka. We are looking pretty good. A little bit of lag, but we're fine. My magic the temples. Guardians, do not let these mortals approach them. Okay. We are just gonna AFK push here. I'm surprised that they did not push in a little bit. The reason why is because it was a 4v4. Okay. Let's back away. Um, Zeratul really shouldn't be here. Um, he should really be with the team. There we go. So that's what I wanted Zeratul to do. There. And we can back away. There you go. Free fall. Free foul. I don't know what he's talking about. All right, we're going to go protect the coding. Okay. 
Okay, looks like they're still fighting down here. I'm just going to back up, grab this. I want to grab this. able to save our Nidus as well as Fort Lost. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's dead. Fort lost. Fort eliminated. Um, yeah, I think this is kind of going as poorly as it might. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this here. Nice network there. Uh, let's go and help out this. Okay. Uh, 16, we're now going to go Mutalisk. They are pushing the top lane. And for some reason, our Bala is... Okay. Well, Kel'Thuzad got his has his stacks, um, and we didn't quite, or like we're not being we're not putting enough pressure on him. So that sucks. Uh, next two f altars are top the night of the and mid. Uh, as far as structures Soon are concerned, they, they have a slight edge on us. Yeah. Uh, but Zeratul should be able to, because he's level 16 now, we should be able to win this pretty handily. Although, I don't know what kind of build he's going for. Let's go ahead. Okay. Um...
Okay, let's go ahead and bail out. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead. Hopefully zero tool. Yeah, he's getting some damage out. Nice shove. Enemy slain. Okay. gonna go ahead and clear up this bottom perfect um we're gonna go ahead, rotate in, all right now we're gonna go with Fury of the Swarm, oh we could have probably gotten the kill there. Okay. We do have level 20 to level 20. There we go. I should be trying to get mana before I go in. Okay. Okay, uh, two keeps down. Uh, try and think of what we can do. Uh, six seconds left. Boss or bait boss? Um, we should probably just try to grab what we can here. Okay. 
Okay. Let Zero Tool harass them. Okay. The conquest begins. We should destroy this fort. Uh, back away. Okay, um Enemy slain. Yes. I hear my magic flows through. There it is. That's the zero tool I was hoping for. Okay. Okay. Uh, we did have pressure in the top lane. Oh my gosh. Ah, sorry, I keep just saying okay over and over. That was intense. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But the Zero Tool finally came online at level 20. His build seems to be not a very popular one. Uh, I would have gone more of a Q build. Uh, even if you were to go to the Mind of Nerezim, which I believe he did. Uh, three kills, seven assists, two deaths, 214,138 in siege damage, 52,557 in hero damage, 17,924 in XP contribution. So that helps. Yeah, so he went with move unseen, gain 30% move speed, psionic strength, seeker in the dark, mind in Nerezim, shroud of a noob, sentence to death, and then twilight falls. So yeah, him, uh, this build... Especially since they have an Alex Draza, which they're all going to group up for her uh, Ws. I would have definitely gone with the Q build. You blink in, you Q as they're all there. You do massive amount of damage, and you can go back out. Oh, uh, it would have. I think it would have gotten a lot more value, but either way, we won. Um, so I had just behind the Vala and Zeratul and damage. Ball stat at 62,000. Kill the Zelda only at 40,000. We had a lot more kills, but they had... So we had a lot more kills, but they were... They had objective control, which just seemed odd. And looks like we got exactly 200. That's cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think and what we could have done a little bit better. And have a great day.